how are you? As I drive, and I apologize, I'm doing during driving. Can't help myself. I'm so excited to be driving outside, and so soon by you guys, especially in New York. I'm looking forward to hearing from you that you're out and running. Here in Israel, we're out and running. Um, I have no planned flights yet into New York. I used to be there every other week or so. Um, don't know when's the next time. Looking forward for you guys to come back, to go back in action. Um, just want to share with you a couple of thoughts about how everything will, I believe, uh, will unfold and how will this economy return. How will this really happen? And what do we know and what don't we really know? What we don't know, what we do know. Um, so first of all, we know we had a pandemic. Everybody knows that. We know that we had an unprecedented uh, um, crisis, economical crisis, health crisis. We all know that. We all know that we are quarantined. We all know that we, we are slowly going to come out. We all know that eventually it will, you know, we will end. We don't know when, but we know that we'll eventually end. Uh, and we'll be out and running and life will be back. All these things we do know. What don't we know? We don't know what type of economical crisis it is. We don't know. We know it's a crisis. We don't know what type of economical crisis it is. Uh, we don't know how fast we'll go back. We don't know that. We know we will go back eventually. We don't know when. And let me a little bit. I would like to dig in with to the with these two things. I already left. There was another video that I left that I uh, I posted that was talking about the idea of life in delay. Everything happens in delay. It means what I eat today, what I eat today will show up tomorrow. If I ate something unhealthy, then it will go into my stomach and turn into fat. I'm not going to see it right away. And if I would have seen it right away, I wouldn't have eaten it because the, the how do you say, the cause and effect would be so extreme, would be so fast that I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to survive without doing the right thing. But due to the fact that things happen later, then we allow ourselves to do things that are not good for us because they give us uh, immediate gratification, immediate satisfaction at that point that we're doing it. But what will be the effect later on, we care less because we don't see it right away. Once it hits, we realize that and it's too late. And also good things happen that way. If we do good things, many times we're not gonna see the results right now. We're on a diet. We actually suffer at that point, but we're not gonna see it later on. Later on we're happy because we had that ability to postpone, to, to uh, how do you say, to not need the immediate type of satisfaction that we need, okay? There's a better word for that. It doesn't come to mind right now. Same for the economy. And let me just dig in on that for a second. Number one, number one, people uh, were quarantined. There was a health crisis. We realized late that there was a health crisis. We did not know that. China didn't tell us. Someone didn't tell us. Doesn't matter. We didn't know that. Now, we do know that. At, that, at a certain point, we didn't know that. And then we were all quarantined. We couldn't get out. We had to shut down the country, the countries, the world. We had to shut down the world. And then we had to stay in. And then all these stimulus packages started coming out because Trump and all the other governments have a little bit of knowledge of history. Some of them do more, some of them less. And the history goes back to Herbert Hoover that didn't do anything with the economy. And Trump did did a lot of things, you may agree or not, but he did a lot of stuff. So these stimulus, stimulus packages came in and started running in. And then um, came out the part of dealing with the health crisis. The health crisis was the focus. More sick people, more people on ventilators, more people dying. And then the, you know, the ability of the hospitals and the health system to actually 
withhold and to handle that <clears throat> all that stuff once this was over stage three the economy started really being pulled down people started talking about their stores not open small and medium businesses suffered immediately what are we going to do we need more money we need more ability etc etc the rest is known but what don't we know now that will affect us tremendously and we don't know what the magnitude of this crisis is we know it's significant we don't know how much it means now that the country is going to be open it's going to be open the countries every country is going to be open this pandemic will be over eventually it will be over slowly but truly we'll be opening there's going to be a second round of this or not we don't know but it will be open now here's the key once things are happening once things are being back to back in action we're going to start seeing things that we now don't know what do we don't we know we don't know who's going to be back to work we don't know which businesses are going to be open now everybody's shut down so that's it but we don't know the background we don't know the backstory of every business we don't know who has reserves we don't know who doesn't have reserves we don't know who is able to take loans to survive this period of time who has an uncle or a grandfather who can help who has a bank who has uh, the ability to withhold withstand this thing who is uh, who is over leveraged and can't do it anymore who is not we don't know these are backstories once we're all back in action slowly but truly we're starting we're going to start seeing all these stores that are shut down we're going to start seeing and hearing about businesses that did not get back to work we're going to hear about people who are not in their job any longer okay and for so many of us it was affected we were so so many of us were affected by it it's so tremendous it's so it's so crazy so it will happen slowly and once this will happen we'll start understanding the magnitude of things also in the real estate business we'll start understanding which loans are not performing which debt services were not being met which which why because we don't know yet who will or did pay rent or not everything happens in delay so within the next two or three months we will we'll start we already start seeing it but we will start seeing the numbers we'll start seeing the magnitude we'll start seeing what it meant by the summer by midsummer we will know august time september time this thing will be showing with its whole with the power with the full power of things and crises are going to coming up are going to be coming up and opportunities are going to come up. and the key is the key is what are we going to do with it? How are we going to handle it? How are we going to take advantage of the opportunities? A. The second thing is those who are struggling. This is the time to act. This is the time to find the new avenues to start engaging in conversation with the other companies, with the other people that you know that are capable and that they are strong and that they are not going anywhere. What can I do with them? What can I bring you? What can I bring to the table for your business if I'm not capable to bring it to my business? How can I be a part of some great deal? How can I be a part of some great endeavor? How can I be a part of something incredible, something amazing that is emerging if my life is not happening the way I thought or planned it to be? I think this is the key for everything. I wish you guys luck, love. Think about what I said. Life all works in delay. And we don't know what we don't know, but we will know all that within time. Keep it up. Just keep up the good work, as we call it. Let's keep the faith. You guys take care. Have, uh, have a very, very beautiful day, as we have here in Israel. A beautiful day. A little hot, but a beautiful day.